So, Matt here from Oats Fab. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how I make a living and um, my intentions for uh, where I want to take this YouTube channel. A question people keep asking me is how do I make my money? How do I get time to work on this thing? Is this mine or is it for a customer? So, um, how I make my money is I've had a business doing this type of work for the past five years. The majority of the work I do is roll cage building. That's my most regular work. I'll sort of take on anything really to do with the fabrication side of uh, preparing cars for you know racing or track or rally, whatever, anything like that. You know, I'll do whatever needs doing really to to pay the bills. So, is this my project? Yes, this is my project. How do I get the time to work on it? Um, a few months ago I did a little block of, of really focusing on YouTube and I did maybe two or three weeks of uploading really regularly and I saw uh, a real jump in um, the channel but then I was really behind with all my customer work so I had to go back, catch up with all that and then by the time I'd caught up with that work and was ready to do another video, the channel had completely dropped off. And that's, that's the way YouTube works. Unless you're, unless you're consistently posting, like every day is, is ideal if you're trying to grow a channel. So if you, if you have any sort of break in it, your channel just like dies a death, like really quickly. It's uh, quite frustrating if you're trying to build a channel and, and, you know, work as well. So I'd seen this growth in the channel and I could see the potential of, of where it could go. And um, I was wanting to start a new build. So I had some money aside to do a new build, which was gonna be um, kind of carrying on from my last hot rod. I wanted to do another hot rod. I was gonna get like an American pickup cab and uh, just build everything else, like full tube, chassis, big engine, you know, some cool woodwork in the back. It was going to be a bit of a sort of rat roddy type race car, similar to what I did before, but like a, a bigger brother of that car. So with the money I had, I could have gone out and bought, I could have bought the cab, bought some parts, um, enough to get the project rolling, but I would have had no time to ever actually build the car because I, you know, there's 50, 60 hours of work a week that needs to be done. You know, I've got two young kids, bills to pay. Um, so in terms of doing it on YouTube, which was what I wanted to do, there's no way I could have done it because I could have bought all the parts and it would have left, left me no time to actually build it. So what I decided to do instead was try and spend zero money on the project and use the money I had to fund me whilst I was working on it and I worked out that I could probably last until Christmas with the money I had and be able to work on the car and regularly upload uh, onto YouTube and if by Christmas I could see that it was going to work and that I would be able to make an income through YouTube. You know, I would carry on and hopefully YouTube will become my job and I can just continue to do build after build after build, show it to you lot and that be my job. That would be my dream job because it would mean I get to build the things that I actually want to build uh, instead of just building everyone else's stuff and making sure they're getting out on track. You know, I'll actually get to build the things I have in my mind and I want to build. So, this project isn't something that I really wanted to build. The reason this is going ahead is because the 100E I got for free, uh, the floor pan engine, all that stuff, running gear, um, that's cost me 300 quid. So I can get the bulk of this project done um, with it costing me 
next to nothing other than time. So it gives me the opportunity to, to you know, focus on trying to build my channel up rather than uh, spending money on the actual build. So that's, that's how I'm working on this at the minute. The reason I decided to do this really was be from speaking to a guy called Carl Voss who has his own channel called The Fab Forums and we got chatting quite a while ago and uh, I just asked him, you know, how, what's his other job other than making the videos he does. He, you know, he's just building like the things he wants to build, how he wants to build them and making content and he just straight up said this is my job, I'm a content creator. Um, and he just told me all about it, like, and just said, you can do it, go do it. Um, which is refreshing because a lot of people like to make their professions sound as complicated as possible. And when you ask about them, they'll make it sound like it's unlikely you could ever do it. Because people like to make themselves sound clever. So when you find people that are willing to just tell you straight up, you know, what's going on and that you could do it, you know, it's kind of rare. So yeah, he's just a good guy. Go check his channel out. If you're interested in this sort of stuff, you'll like what he's doing. So the other thing I've learned is that uh, YouTubers who make a living through YouTube have lots of different incomes. They're not like relying solely on the ad revenue that you get through YouTube uh, is not a reliable source of income and I've seen that already just from how it sort of goes up and down and you don't always get what you're expecting to get and if you've got a small channel you're never going to earn a living wage from the AdSense but if you have a big channel you know hundreds of thousands of subscribers then yeah you definitely can earn a good wage from the AdSense but if you're wondering how that works once once you're getting a certain amount of views you just click a button in YouTube on your channel and it gives you the option to monetize it where you get paid and YouTube will put adverts on it you don't even have to pick what the adverts are they do it all it's all automatic and people watch the adverts and you get paid another thing which people have mentioned is a patron account. I have set one of those up, but after looking into that, it's kind of, from what I can see, you have to offer people um, like extra content, extra videos. And you can say, if you pay a, a pound a month, then you'll get this extra video. And at the minute, there's just no way I could, I would have time to make extra content um, because I am still having to take in little jobs in between doing this. Um, so it's a stretch to get these videos done, work on this and do other jobs just to get that bit of cash in. So me making additional content to be able to offer to people at the moment, it's just not, there's no way that's possible. I was thinking I could offer like a giveaway once a month to people, maybe give away something to do with the car. So I was thinking maybe stuff like this. It's the original Speedo out of the car. I thought maybe that might be a cool thing for someone to have if they're interested in the build. Don't know, let me know what you think. Or maybe something that I've made could give away once a month um, for people who want to help support the channel. So I've set up a Patreon account. I'll put a link to that if you want to help support the channel and, and uh, you know the projects then you can if not absolutely no uh, you know nothing's going to change whether you whether you do or you don't but the other thing is is brand deals so you'll get companies that companies relevant to what you're doing who want to get involved in the channel and, and will just help support the channel and you will help promote their brand so that's something I'm looking for at the moment and yeah, all that it will just contribute into being able to keep the workshop open, keep the projects rolling, and hopefully, you know, it's going to mean that I can make this my job. I mean, that, that is the dream, to be able to build all the ideas I have in my head and uh, show them to all you lot.
I feel like the next build, which I'm going to do my original idea with the pickup cab, will just blow this out of the water. This is, this is going to be kind of tame in comparison to the next build. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to actually getting this one finished and getting my teeth into the next one. But So yeah, that's probably enough of me droning on anyway. So um, hopefully that answers a lot of those questions and you know what the plans are for the channel and I hope it sounds like something you want to keep watching. So that's it for that part. I've got some arches to try on this, so let's drag them out and have a look. So my dreams of a Zach Speed kit got crushed when I looked at the price of them. It was 450 quid for the kit and uh, my thoughts were if I damage it, I'll have to buy a whole nother kit just to replace one part. And it's a lot of money to spend on something that I'm just gonna have to cut up and adjust. So this is a Mark I bubble arch kit. This is new old stock and I got them for 60 quid. You can buy these individually. So if ever any get damaged, it'll be easy to repair. Bubble arches on 100E have been done quite a few times before so you know I already know it looks good I just really wanted to do something a bit different but uh, this is this is way more within the budget of zero so this is what we're going with kind of look like they've got mold in them kind of wishing I'd just bought new stock now. But they will do the job. They're going to be painted obviously anyway. So uh, yeah, a lot of people don't like the fact that, I mean, these are battered. A lot of people didn't really like that I was using fiberglass, but it's just cost. Yeah, it's cheap. So, there's a reason this has been done before, and that's because these just fit so easily. Yeah, if ever I was to damage that, I'd just buy another one and rivet it straight on. I think my other idea with the Zach Speed kit would have been really cool and it would have been different, but you know, I think mouldy Mark 1 arches is definitely going to be the easiest, easiest way forward. Yeah, once this is sat real nice and low, I think it's going to look good. So they're going to clean up just fine. I can also, um, take some measurements and uh, see what sort of wheels I'm going to be able to get away with running on here. But yeah, back to uh, the norm, some grinding and welding and all that sort of stuff for the next video. So uh, yeah, that's it for this one. Cheers for watching. See you on the next one.